so Trump yesterday, you know that there's a, a, a battle royale going in. There's actually pure anarchy happening in Portland, Oregon. Yeah. It's Portland, Portland, Oregon, right? Uh, like and they're protesting. And it's very, it's a lot of white folk out there. That's not even us, which, and, and I want to just say this out loud because the way the police are treating those people, if they were black, I think there would be some deaths. I just really do. Uh, there's one gentleman who was beaten, uh, had, I mean, beaten and then hit with those rubber bullets in the head, shot in the head. Donovan LaBella, he is still in the hospital. Um, the pictures of his face, horrific, 26 years old, being treated at Legacy Emanuel Medical Center. Um, it, it's just crazy. Uh, the, but this president sent mil- basic military weaponized, full military garb, machine guns, boots, like he's going into Iraq or something, into a c- civilian space with American citizens. Did you a see the US images? City. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like it's like almost if there was a, a a clip of war happening on American soil, but the war is against actual American people. Like it's those, those images in Portland. I know a lot of people maybe take a decide to take a little break from the news here and there, but. I feel like that we should be all look, have our eyes on Portland because when people start talking about it can't get much worse, it can't get much worse. He won't, you know, that like there's there's got to be a bottom somewhere to to this foolishness that's coming from you know, that's coming from government. Watch Portland. If you, if you watch think Portland. It can't get worse, watch Portland. Watch Portland for a lot of reasons. I'm about to play this clip, which is the only reason why I'm doing five minutes of Trump today. But I figured let me throw in that Chris Wallace uh, stuff as well. Let's play clip number 11 and let's have a conversation. The number here is 866-801-8255. Watch Portland. And then the police are afraid to do anything. I, I know New York very well. I know the police very well. New York's finest. And the fact is they're restricted from doing anything. They can't do anything. So what are you planning to do? Well, I'm going to do something that I can tell you. Because we're not going to leave New York and Chicago and Philadelphia and Detroit and Baltimore and all of these. Oakland is a mess. We're not going to let this happen in our country. So all run by liberal Democrats. So more federal law enforcement to some of these we cities? More federal law enforcement that I can tell you. In Portland, they've done a fantastic job. They've been there three days and they really have done a fantastic job in a very short period of time. No problem. They grab them, a lot of people in jail, they're leaders. These are anarchists, these are not protesters. People say protesters, these people are anarchists. These are people that hate our country and we're not gonna Mm -hmm. let it go forward. And these are not anarchists, these are citizens. These are taxpaying American citizens who elected those people in Portland, that governor and those elected officials and they see them as constituents, not as anarchists. And if you want to talk about anarchists and then want to keep Fort Bragg, you're a hypocrite. You just lied or you just told everything. Who's an anarchist? Fort Bragg. Bragg. Braxton Bragg was an anarchist. Robert E. Lee was an anarchist. Jefferson Davis was an anarchist. Those were anarchists and traitors but you want to preserve their legacy and preserve their memory and not give American citizens right now who are outraged at the condition of this country and who are fed up with a lack of leadership that starts with you running around telling people not to wear masks as 140,000, nearly 141,000 Americans are dead right now at, under your lack of leadership. And you want to talk about anarchists? No, these are citizens. These are citizens who are not happy about what is going on in this country. And instead of addressing those needs, you're sending in military people to assault them. And then you're bringing up Chicago. Is it a black mayor in Chicago, Drew McCaskill? Black mayor, Detroit, Philly, he brought up Philly. And he brings up Oakland, Baltimore. Yeah. That's very strategic to me. Then comes back to Absolutely. Chicago, because that's the, that's the drum beat right there. Chicago, Chicago's the drum beat. Absolutely. Which, Absolutely. which doesn't have the highest murder rate in the country, by the way. So let's just say that. Nah, it's not number one. So what are we saying here? What's the dog whistle? What's the obvious whistle? Talk to me. You know the obvious whistle is where those black people are, where those people, where those people who are not white are. Because, and two, what happens when, when he decides that people who are registering people to vote against him are anarchists? 
What happens when he decides that people who vote against him are anarchists? What happens when he decides that um, that places in this country that have black leadership or what he says liberal leadership, what happens when he says, though, we need to go in and run the city for them. We need to militarize. We need to we need to come in and take over where they're failing. Police state. That that is dictatorship type talk. That we're going to come into the city. That the we're going to send the federal government in to come into the city and take over the will of the people. The people did not elect Donald Trump as the mayor of Oakland or the mayor of Chicago or the governor of Illinois or the governor of New York. The people elected the leadership that they had to run it the way they expect them to run it, the way they promised to run it. What's going on in Portland is crazy because it says it says that this administration feels like that one, the will of the people means nothing. And anything that anything that they don't agree with, they have the power to come in and bring people to heal. 866-801-8255. So that's what I wanted to talk about today because everything you just said, but when I heard him single out those particular cities, I said, "Uh uh-oh. And then there's this, you know, what if he loses in November, but it's close. And now he has empowered the military to basically, because he's commander in chief, a person that took five deferments. I don't know how you swear to serve and protect this country and serve under a commander in chief that would never put his life on the line for this country had an opportunity to serve in Vietnam several times and chose not to fake bone spurs, had all kinds of excuses to not fight for this country. And now he's sitting on his throne. Literally, I could do anything. I'm empowering them. Look at, and when, when, when he was talking with Chris Wallace, yeah, I gave the military rockets and this and that. What are you preparing for? Not war with someone else because you're in league with Russia. You're in league with North Korea the people that would actually be a threat to America's democracy in China, China. Hmm. No, you're at war with America, black America. Who is they? It's black people. Yeah. It's black people. Let's not even black and brown. It's black people. He's very clear about that. 866-801-8255. It's more than than a dog whistle, Karen. At, At this point, it's just straight up gaslighting. The, the, his applause and talking about his love of, of Confederate history and that it's a part of American history, that is straight up gaslighting. That is literally him going out and basically saying that we are now at war with you. It's, a, it's almost a, a declaration of war, the way he talks about cities with large black populations, the way he talks about black leaders, particularly black female leaders, if you put it all together, and the part when he said that we were there for 51 days before we actually started to engage, it makes me wonder what happens what happens in November in, in these cities. How you, you know what I mean? Like it makes this me, is why I'm talking me, about it, Drew. It doesn't make me wonder. This is Portland is a precursor. Pay attention to what's happening in Portland. <laughs> 